Hi everyone. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you to all viewers and subscribers of Mr. Simon's channel. Your support and feedbacks are greatly appreciated by us. So in this video, I will be answering the question by one of our viewers. So for this lesson, I will be explaining how does the commutators reverse the flow of current every half cycle. So first of all, I will explain the structure of commutator in the direct current motor once again. So let me explain. The commutator is basically a ring-shaped object. You can see it's a ring shape. Just that the ring is being cut into two semicircles. Being cut in the middle and formed two semicircles. So these two parts we have no contact at all. So therefore the current cannot pass through these two directly. So the carbon brush, these two carbon brushes here, uh, plays an important role to have a contact with the commutator. And then the coil, one side of the coil is connected. I'll label the left side commutator as A, okay, and the right side as B. So the left side of the coil is connect connected to the commutator A, means that it's on the left side. But then A and B have no contact at all. So the coil connected from A all the way like this and then back to B. So the left side connected to A, right side connected to B. So this is basically um, how a commutator actually look like. And for the question, how does the commutators reverse the flow of current every half cycle? So the secret here is this gap. Why? I'll explain it now. Okay. The orange color, I label it as A. So this is A, this is B. So orange color is A, pink is B. A, B. A, B. So this one is the coil. You can see the coil is connected here. So the orange color is, the dot is over here. And then it goes all the way like this back to the pink color. So this one is connected to A, this one is connected to B. So this is actually how, a, uh, I'll explain it using this way so that you can understand it well. Okay, first of all, at the original position, A is on this side, B is on this side. And then the carbon brushes have contact with A and B respectively. So when the, uh, the switch is closed and the current flows through it, so it will flow in this direction. So it goes from A and all the way to the, car to the coil back to B. So it goes from A, connected from here, all the way back to here. So you have to notice the direction of flow of current. So on this side, it's going upward. And this side is going backward. Remember it. This side is going up. This side is going down. So when the A is here, B is here, it's flowing like this. And then it will cause an anti-clockwise rotation, just like what I, I taught you in the last lesson. So for this one, it's after the coil has been rotated. So after it rotated anti-clockwise, the A will turn it like this, will turn like this. So the A will be down here, B will be up here. So at this position, you can see that because of the gap, because of this gap in between two semicircles, the carbon brushes have totally no contact at all with the commutators. So at this position, no current flows through. So because of inertia, I've said it before, because of inertia, it will continue its anti-clockwise motion. So after it continues, it will be back to this direction. Anti-clockwise, the B 
will go over here, A will go over here. So notice that the positions of the commutators have been swapped. So B will be on the left, but A at the first, at the original position, A is on the left. So same thing because of the position of the dry cells, the current flows in this direction. So when it reach here, the pink, the B, will now be on the left side. So it will be flowing like this. Connected from the left side of the coil back to the right side. So from B, B, it will flow like this in this direction back to A. So you can notice that it's not really um, a reversing action of the flow of current. It's just basically that um, it makes sure that currents always flow in one direction. Because of the gap here, the current will always flow from the left side of the coil back to the right side of the coil. If the dry cell is, the, the positive and negative pole of the dry cell is reversed, it will be reversed also, vice versa. So, it's basically the gap here that does the work. So, without this gap, this cannot be happening. So, the design of the commutator Make sure that once it flows, once the commutator have contact with the carbon brush, the current flow will always in the same direction because of the rotation. It doesn't matter whether A is on the left or A is on the right or B is on the left or B is on the right. As long as there is a half, half circle, half circle of the ring here and then another half circle of the ring here, because of the connection of the coil, it will always flow in the same direction. You can notice that it's always the same direction. So that's why it can maintain the same rotation action of the coil every single time, continuously. So it will be back to this direction again, and then it goes back to the first step. And we go on, go on and on, go on and on. So that's why... Uh, the commutators can reverse the flow, but it's not really a reversing. You just, um, you just don't have to pay attention on the position of the commut commutators. So, I hope I answer your questions. So, that's it for the lesson today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.